Hey, what's up, Diamonds? It's your boy, Christopher Doc Reed, your favorite relationship and life coach out here one more again, telling you what your father didn't tell you and your mother did not know. All right, let's get into it. Some of you, my wonderful Diamonds, you're like the superwoman of love. What does that mean? Well, that means that you do all things, okay? Now, you may go by many names. You may be the fixer. You may be the manager, or you may be the CEO, okay? Now, for some of you, the reason why this is the case is because you need to be needed, you know, especially if you're an empath, you know, you just want somebody to need what you have to offer, okay? And so that means for the man in your life, before he can think it, you've already done it. You bought the tickets to the game. You made the dinner reservations, okay? You went all out for his birthday. Now, he can barely remember yours, okay? You helped him set up his business. You've given him thousands, plural, of dollars. And you might not even be exclusive. I'm just saying, okay? So, you're trying to prove to him you're the one. I'm ride or die. Hey, when you need me, I'm here. And at the end of the day, you know what you are? You've become tired. Yeah, because guess what? He ain't reciprocating. Not at all. Yeah, he's not doing the same for you. Okay. It's like when you give a child everything, everything that the child wants. Okay. And you sit up there and you communicate the message that you require absolutely nothing. You know what they're going to call that child? Spoiled rotten. Mm -hmm. Good for absolutely nothing. You know, scripture says this. If you spare the rod of correction, you will spoil the child. Okay. You just let them run amok. Just let them have. Ah! Ah! And they just tearing up everything. This is not what you want in a mature, healthy relationship. Now, you know what you must do, ladies? You have to step back so that he can step up. You see how that formula works? See, let's practice it. Let's do it together. Step back. Uh-huh. So he can step up. Because see, why you right here, all in the grill, and you just, before he can even think it, you know what I'm saying? You just done it. You know, you like the Holy Spirit. You just manifest that thing. There's no space. What is he supposed to do in here? You, you, you're using up all the space, you know, it's like a child who sits there and it says, I'm not going to eat my vegetables. Little Johnny, he's sitting two years old. I don't like vegetables. <laughs> you know, you know, and you know, they used to say that if you get hungry enough, you'll eat it. You will. OK, because what happens is. The child's need to survive becomes greater than the dislike that they have for the vegetables. OK, so that means that you go from being overly available to unavailable. It's OK. It's OK. Don't worry about it. OK, gives him an opportunity to miss you. All right. Now he don't feel so much in control. What happened? There's a little uncertainty. It's good creates a bit of a challenge, okay? What you've done is you've taken your power back. Yes, balance has been restored to the universe. Okay, let me let you in on just a little secret, okay? I only talk about it all the time, actually. Diamonds do not chase. They're chosen. Say it after me, class, okay? Get it down in your shondo. Diamonds do not chase, huh? They are chosen. So you know what you need to do? You need to let him choose you. See, there are no legs on this. You don't see it running. Let me do this. Let me give you money. Let me help you get your business up and going. Huh? Let me take care of your every need before you even know it's a need. No, 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 no. Diamonds don't do that. They sit right there. See how pretty that looks? See how the light just shines off of it? Ooh, and you want it. Like I said, let him choose you. Step back, okay, so he can step up. Now, let me ask you this. Are you doing way too much? 
I mean, are you just the queen of going overboard? You know, have you stepped all the way up and all he's doing, he's, he's not stepping back. He's, he's laid back. Okay. He's leaning back. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's where he is Riddick. Or have you created a spoiled brat? Okay. If you know that this is you, this is all I need you to do. If you need some help with this and you don't know how to get out of it, you're stuck. Okay. Just hit me up. Go to ChristopherReed.org. All right. My website, schedule your free 30 minute consultation so we can do what? So we can help you. Okay. Just push back, push back. But you say, oh my God, doc, what if I push back and he don't step up? Oh, ye of little faith. You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like fear. And you know what fear creates? It creates desperation, this clinginess to hold on for dear life. Because what you're really saying is, what if he believes I'm not good enough to step up for? Oh, so you have a deeper issue. You don't truly believe you have value. You don't believe you're worth stepping up for. Oh, we need to talk. Hit me up, okay? Also, join me every Wednesday night in my closed Facebook group, The Diamond Mine. OK, well, I'm talking about the stuff you really want to get into last Wednesday. Uh, that's at Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If I didn't now, I did. OK, last Wednesday, we talked about overcoming the CEO trap as an empath. Why is this important? So similar to what I've been talking about as an, a CEO, you are that fixer. OK, you're the go to person for everyone, everybody. They want it done. They come to you. Because they know it'll be done fast. It'll be done right. But here's the problem. All right. You get burned out and people don't check for you. They're not seeing how you doing. They assume you're all right. Because if they ask you to do something, you steadily saying yes. Oh, I'll do it. Okay. Now you're burned out. You are burned out. OK. And like I said in my last video, you choose beta males. You choose the kind of men that are going to let you do everything. Yeah, go ahead. You could do it. Oh, they'll support you. Oh, you're so wonderful. Oh, and they allow you to remain in control. OK, but this ain't what you want. You say, I want a man to lead. Mm, OK, you might want to check that out. OK, when a whole hour. Great conversation in the diamond mine. So listen. Ladies, please do me a favor. Just step back. OK, just practice like push ups. Step back so he can step up. And like I said, if you need help with that, please hit your boy up. All right. Take care. Peace.